the saddest part. <laughs> this was so beautiful. My weakness comes and goes, it goes, it goes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Brooke right here. We are collaborating together to bring you a unicorn makeup. I mean, unicorns are still trending, so are mermaids, so I had to bring you both of them. Hint, hint to the next uh, video coming soon. <laughs> so I'm just starting off with a regular makeup routine with, um, you know, concealer, foundation, primer, all that good stuff. I'm using these awesome unicorn brushes from... Moto brushes, they're beautiful brushes and some of my favorites to boot. But I'm just starting off with basic, uh, just a basic foundation, concealer, powder routine. Um, the one thing that I did that was a little bit more special than a regular routine is I added these Cover FX Enhancer Drops in Halo and I went crazy with them. I put them all over my face. I really wanted this to be a super, super, super dewy, glowy makeup. So I'm just going to finish off this routine, add a little bit more of those enhancer drops, and then we're going to get onto the makeup. For the brows, you guys, I just did them super dark, but I kept them pretty normal. I just kind of like to start out like this, um, you know, the regular foundation routine and brows so that I can kind of make it my own in a little. You'll see the brush changed a bit. I'm starting off by priming my eyes as you always should so the shadows don't move on Halloween day. Just setting with a little bit of translucent powder left over on my brush and then we're moving on to eyeshadow. So I'm jumping literally right into this color right here which is black. <laughs> I know we're all scared of black but all you gotta do is work with it, blend it out. I'm putting black in the inner corners to kind of create a dark, dark, dark unicorn and then adding a little bit of this lavender shadow from Sugar Pill. And I jumped into this Tarte palette, which I believe is just on QVC, and I just added that to help kind of blend the black and the purple out. Then I've been using this glitter from Stila a lot. I believe this one is Ballet Baby. So beautiful, I'm obsessed with it. It's actually half gone. <laughs> and then, whoops, I'm using these Heartbreaker Lashes from glowed up girl lining the bottom lashes with black and then i took these old cocoa lashes i just cut them into little pieces and glued them on underneath my eyes for that very fairy like effect and then i'm taking these little rhinestones from michael's most of the rhinestones i always get guys are from michael's and i'm just placing them randomly all over my face to kind of give you this little look here i added some glitter some highlighter from the anastasia nicole guerrero palette and then we're going to move on to the lips. So I'm taking the Black Flirt Eyeliner and I'm lining my lips with this. It's super, super creamy, so I thought this was perfect to use for the lips. And then I'm just going to fill them in with this black. And then I took a Beauty Blender and I kind of did that like messed up, like I kissed Enzo 500 times effect. <laughs> so I'm just blending purple in the center after doing that. And then I took a little of a silver. I'm using that silver in the inner part of the lips and the brow bone. And then I put a little glitter on each side and added more of the Stila glitter in the center. And then I added more of the Stila glitter around the eyes. You know, just super glittery, super avant-garde. It's really hard to explain kind of where my thought process is after and during. So <laughs> just go with, the, go with the flow. Make it your own, guys. I took this ColourPop palette. I added the gray shadow and the purple shadow to the... Um, inner part of my cheeks. I really wanted the cheeks to be super chiseled. Um, I also added some to my neck along with glitter. And then I made one of my glitter concoctions, which you guys know all it is is just hair gel and a bunch of different colored glitters. I used like black glitter, purple glitter, and um, a bunch of different sizes and whatnot. I put it all over my hair and <laughs> I added some hairspray. Now, I did it on my neck as well. By the way, this headband that I have on is from Hot Topic. So what I'm doing right now is 
a little bit challenging. You can do this with spirit gum, which I recommend over lash glue, but all I have is lash glue. I spray painted these purple flowers with silver and black to make them kind of look dull and dark. And what I'm doing is I'm using this duo lash glue to help these flowers stick on my neck. They actually did stick much better than spirit gum would, but I would recommend Spirit Gum only because the lash glue really hurt when I took it off. <laughs> but this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my dark unicorn. Let me know if you try it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this dark unicorn makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe right here and also don't forget to check out all of the rest of my Halloween tutorials from this year and from all of the past years that is right here in this playlist. Thanks guys, I'll see you tomorrow.